Hey guys, uh, Steve Bivens here. <laughs> I uh, I had this crazy idea in the middle of the night last night. I woke up at like 1.15. Uh, brain was spinning on a good idea, I think. We'll see. Um, I, I was I was thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm turning 52 today uh, as of like 9.30 this morning, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and, uh, you know, normally 52, it's not 50 is the big one, right? 52 is just another fucking year, right? Uh, so, we, you know, what, what are you celebrating 52? Then it re I realized, you know, there's 52 cards in a deck and there's 52 weeks in a year. And I was like, ah, there, there's something we can grab a hold of. Maybe I'll just create a video once a week. Uh, I'll probably do it on Sundays. But I'm doing it today because it's my birthday. Um, this is kind of the intro one. Maybe I'll just do a video once a week about something. <laughs> that, and that's what got me up. And I was thinking, oh, okay, maybe, you know, I, in fact, then it, then it started to coalesce as I got up. And, and uh, I just finished reading recently uh, Oprah Winfrey's book, believe it or not. First one I've ever read of hers. Uh, I've, I've never really, I never really watched the show much. I saw a few episodes here and there over the decades. Uh, but, uh, it was her, uh, book, um, what I know for sure. Right. And, uh, it was, it was really good. There was some great stuff in there. And, uh, so is, this is kind of my version of that, I guess. Um, a video blog for a year, once a week. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit longer because I'm telling you what I'm doing. Uh, most of the time, it's probably going to be much shorter. I hope. Uh, and you know, the the idea is you know to leave you with some nuggets of wisdom? Question mark. <laughs> it's the title. Uh, Fifty two things I think I know. Uh, there's been many times in my life, even recently, where I was pretty damn sure I knew something, only to find out, maybe not, right? Um, it's, maybe it's just my opinion. So, uh, I, I, I think the title works. These are things I think I know. In other words, I'm not trying to, you know, ram it down your throat. I'm just throwing it out there as things to think about. I'm pretty sure I know these things, let's put it that way, uh, to be true. The ones that I'm going to put on here anyway. And especially the one for today. So the first one of the year, okay, the, of the series is gratitude is essential. It's a key uh, to what? <laughs> to being happy quite frankly. And, and isn't that really the goal of most of us? I mean, if, if you're watching me, it's probably your one, your main goal, um, is to be more happy or happier, blissful, joyful, whatever word you want to use. Uh, and one of the keys, it's not the only one. Okay. In fact, most of the stuff I'm going to talk about this year, uh, lend to being happier. Um, it is one of the main ones, though, and that is gratitude, because uh, a lot of people think, you know, only happy people are grateful, but it's actually the other way around. Because uh, if you can't be grateful for what you already have, how do you expect to get more? I, I don't know. I, I've expected it before, uh, <laughs> and I didn't get it. <laughs> now I'm more grateful things start to happen. Uh, it's pretty, it, I don't, I don't think it's really woo woo or any, you know, like, you know, you can be, you can certainly be woo woo about it, but I don't even think it has to be. I mean, I think psychologically, if you're focused on the things that you do have and enjoy those, you're going to be happier for one, because that's the definition of happy being thankful for what you have essentially. Uh, because if you're not thankful for these things, if you get the new thing, how long are you going to be thankful for having those? Right? Uh, not very long. <laughs> that's why, that's why stuff doesn't, 
equate to happiness. That's another video, but it's about the gratitude for what you already have. And essentially, you have all of it. You've got everything you need already. Doesn't feel like it most of the time. <laughs> I get it. But you do, I do, you do, we all do. So practicing gratitude every day. You, know, you don't have to like do it out loud necessarily or post it on Facebook or whatever. Although it doesn't hurt to do those things. Uh, but at least in your own mind or write it down or do put it somewhere. You know, two or three things. If you can only come up with one, fine. But the more you can be grateful for every day, it, can, it doesn't have to be like huge stuff like my house. That's fine. But it could be you know, literally like, you know, I have I have hand lotion on my desk. I'm grateful for this, especially in Minnesota in the winter time. Really dry skin, so it, it definitely helps. In fact, I could use some of that right now. As a matter of fact. If I can get it to pump out there. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So I'm grateful for hand lotion. And if you've ever shaken my hand, you'll be grateful that I have some. <laughs> and that I just put some on. Uh, anyway, gratitude. Practice it, people. There's there's number one. And it's probably enough for today, for the first week. Uh, I'll try to keep the other ones shorter. I won't do quite as long an intro every time. But... There you go. There's a tidbit of knowledge. You probably already heard before, but it helps to to repeat it, I think. So it starts to stick. And you actually do it. Right? Don't don't just listen to me. Actually fucking do it. <laughs> okay. Um, because it doesn't work if you don't. Go figure. Have a good one and happy birthday to me, by the way. Fifty-two. Alright, guys. Have a good one.